You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. I'm back. Rootrance for our Black and White Sports 2. We're going to talk about Tom Brady because there's been a very, very interesting report come out. As we know, Tom Brady, well, he lit out of Tampa Bay Bucks training camp the other day. And he's going to be gone, I think they said 11 or 12 days, something like that. Uh, but there's some things coming out involving how Tom Brady looks on the field. And I'm not talking about a playing standpoint. I'm talking about a body lang language standpoint. And it just doesn't seem like, at least per this report, I would be concerned if I was a Bucks fan. He does not seem to be very engaged with this Buccaneers team right now. Um, now, we covered extensively from the time it started his crusade, along with Sean Payton, to try to get to the Miami Dolphins. Now, a ton of people was like, oh, that's not true. That's not happening, blah, blah, blah. And then last week it came out that, yeah, Roger Goodell and the NFL slammed Stephen Ross and the Dolphins for, in fact, having contact with Tom Brady and Sean Payton while Tom Brady is part of the Buccaneers, this happened over the course of a couple of years, and it was about him joining the Dolphins as a quarterback and a minority owner. Well, let's get to this report because I would be concerned. Anytime somebody comes out and announces they're retiring, uh, I can't remember who it was. I don't. Rem uh, it might be Michael Irvin that had come, has come out and said it. But anytime you're talking about retirement, you're retired. And at least in football, a lot of times that's the way a lot of ex-players feel about it when guys start talking about retirement. Tom Brady has reportedly looked, quote, miserable during Bucks training camp, according to an NFL insider. Tom Brady has taken a mysterious leave of absence from the Bucks training camp, and one NFL reporter doesn't like what he's seeing from the 45-year-old quarterback. Now, I'm going to tell you, I do think this has something to do with Gronk not being there anymore either. Earlier this week, fans and media wondered why Brady was decided to take time off from camp, but according to NFL insider Ian Rappaport, Brady's break was planned and not due to a medical emergency for him or anyone in his family, that's what I initially thought. Um, but something we have to be aware of here. I can't imagine the Tampa Bay Bucks wouldn't come out and say this was planned. You know, I mean, otherwise, if you don't say that, you're going to start a lot more speculation than just a couple of articles dropping. Quote, it was planned. No one is worried. He's fine. It's not, to my knowledge, a medical emergency for him or anyone close to him. I was told everything is okay. The best description I got for this is that it is important to find a work-life balance. Brady has been doing this for 23 years. He knows the scheme as well as anyone. He wasn't going to play in those two preseason games anyway, so he'll step aside to do some actual personal things, some family things. That is really interesting. During an appearance on the Colin Cowherd show, NFL reporter Ben Volan said he's worried about the body language Gr Brady is giving out in camp. Volan described Brady as qu looking, quote, miserable. He believes the aging QB isn't completely happy with the team's injury situation at the moment. Quote, I wonder where his head is at right now. He was so good at 44, there's no doubt in our minds that if Brady is fully committed... He can have a terrific season at 45, but there are definitely signs that his head is not fully into it. I try not to be the body language police, but I was at the Bucks practice yesterday and he looked miserable. I don't think he loves the humidity in Tampa. It's very swampy out there every morning. His buddy Gronk has retired. That's his running mate. That's his guy. And now he looks all over the field 
He's throwing to Kyle Rudolph. Chris Godwin is banged up. We're not sure when he's going to be himself again. Brady Center, Ryan Jensen goes down. There are just a lot of things going on with the team. And we also know playing with the Bucks was not his number one wish this year. It is worth noting that Brady tried to get himself traded to the Dolphins, deciding to abruptly retire and then unretire. And you have to wonder if Brady's like, you know, I really just didn't want to come back to this team, really. I wanted to keep playing, but there were all kinds of speculations going on out there, and the Dolphins came out of nowhere. That, that's what was odd. Everybody thought he was trying to get his way to the 49ers. Uh, he was trying once again to have one last ride with his childhood team, and then all of a sudden, bam, the Dolphins news broke, and we found out, well, he's really good friends with, with Stephen Ross and one of their other minority owners, and then the report came out from the NFL that they were slamming, and I mean, they destroyed the Dolphins. Multiple draft picks taken away. This Brady and, and Sean Payton thing was happening. And it, the thing about it is it makes me wonder what would have happened if Brian Flores hadn't happened because that's what stopped all of that was the Brian Flores situation. And my gut feeling is Flores got wind. Holy crap, the Dolphins are about to fire me and hire Sean Payton. And I think he part, partly between that and the Belichick thing got mad, and that's when he came out with all the what I think is bullshit racial stuff. Um, look, you know, as, as much as I – think Brian Flores is probably a pretty good football coach. He's not Sean Payton, okay? I mean, if I had the choice between the two, I wouldn't even have to think about it. I'm hiring Sean Payton. You know, he's an offensive genius. Plus, Tom Brady's wanting to come there. If we got Sean Payton. I mean, that's it's a no-brainer at that at that situation, but you know, I worked for years, I managed for years in the corporate world, and one of the things that they sort of Talk to talk to us about and gave us some training about was, you know, tales as to whether or not people are lying, quirks, things people do. When you're talking to them, you can read their face, read their body language, and you know whether or not somebody's miserable, whether they're unhappy, whether they're lying to you. I mean, they're just things you can figure out, right? And I've wondered about this. I wondered if he really, really wanted to come back and play for the for the Tampa Bay Bucks. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I assume he'll come back and everything will be fine. But if I was a Buccaneers fan right now, I would be a little concerned with the idea that could Tom Brady just retire sometime before he gets back? If he's not unhappy, and maybe he thought Gronk was coming back, and now Gronk's kind of made it plain and clear he's not coming back, and maybe it just doesn't feel like the same team to him. I don't know. Or maybe he recognizes that this team, and, and we talked about this, maybe this team's not going to be as good as he was hoping it might be even if he came back. I don't know. I don't know. And let us not lose sight of the fact he wasn't happy with the Bruce Arians, Antonio Brown thing. He wasn't. You could tell he wanted Antonio Brown on that team. You know, the, 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 I always said, look, Brady didn't care how belligerent Antonio Brown got. Brady looks at it as like, I'm 44. We've got a legit Super Bowl contender. Antonio Brown's really damn good. And you kicked him off the team, you know? So, I don't know. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 fans. I don't know how this works out, but it doesn't sound great. It really doesn't. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no-holds-barred truth on sports. The main event starts now.